Hey guys, how's it going? All right, today we are going to put in a new motor. Uh, we had a 1914 engine in there previously. Uh, the block was cracked. It used to leak about a quart of oil anytime we would go somewhere. Uh, we're going to reinstall a long block 2275 high performance engine, dual Weber carburetors, uh, 44 IDFs, a new external oil cooler, and a uh, 009 distributor and a lot of chrome. All right, so go ahead and let's, uh, watch the rest of this video and check out that installation. Right here is a look at the long block uh, from head to head, and um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and give it a compression check. And then start adding, you know, uh, the upper upper half of the engine. So the compression check and everything came out really nice. The engine's, engine's gonna get put together from here. Um, right here, what I decided to do was take uh, the gas cover. It's a, it's a, kind of like the firewall in a car and go and get it chromed. So, uh, you know, this isn't uh, what you see in most VW buses. So this is a before and after pictures of it here. Here's an after nice and chrome. And uh, went ahead and got some pieces done like the gas cap and the bolts for the seat belts but um anyway once i did that i decided to get some new wheels uh went with some mp fook uh porsche uh alloys and uh you can see the the i decided i wanted to make sure they match up to the car okay and everything so you can see like the before and after pictures um i got the center caps painted uh i like the crest painted instead of having just a flat chrome chrome crest uh, it looks a lot nicer, but anyway, you see the the original rims compared to the to the Fuchs. They look uh, really nice, but um, anyhow, so that, that it's coming along really well. right here i ran over and get some uh tires put on put on the wheels and uh you can see the before crest right there it's just a flat chrome crest and then i, I had them painted um anyway like you know some people like it all chrome some of you like them painted i like them painted myself All right, so the wheels the wheels are on, and uh, you can see how the engine came out. The engine's beautiful. So I decided to load up the van and uh, bring it over to the shop down the way and start getting the engine in, into it and uh, go ahead and put the wheels on. So from here, um, you know, I had to get a tow truck and uh, bring it bring it over to the shop.
Okay, so once it was unloaded from the truck, just had to make some space on the lift so that way there we can we can get on a lift. Start lifting it up from there and uh, get ready to move the engine underneath of it. Here we get to see the, the chrome firewall. We install that in first. The gas get gas tank cover. Get the engine in. Make sure everything's sitting right. And right here, start putting the new wheels on. Get the wheels put on while it was up on the lift. Get ready to put the back apron on and roll it out from here and uh you know again make sure everything's you know running or sitting right and uh you know i can bring it home Hey guys, all right, so from here you can see that I'm, I'm sitting here behind my desk. Uh, what it is is, you know, I've been doing a lot on my van and a lot of work has gone on. And during this time, it's like I can't hold a camera and, and you know, take the video at the same time. So I um, wanted to sit down here for a minute and explain that during this engine build, um, you know, that the engine's been put together. It's installed in the van now. And uh, the, the photos and the video you've seen up until this time, um, how it came along. Uh, basically what it is is we built a long block, uh, you know, head to head, and then uh, I swapped out some old parts to put on it and ran it, uh, you know, the top half like a carburetor and, and alternator and whatnot, and uh, ran it for an hour and uh, then uh, removed everything on it, off of it, and uh, started with a new top half, you know, uh, dual carburetors, uh, generator, alternator stand, uh, alternator, fan shroud, fan, and uh, added the added the flywheel and uh, clutch uh, after that. Um, so as you can see, we added everything in chrome. Um, the engines are twenty two uh, seventy five and uh, has a lot of power. Runs really got really good, nice and smooth, no complaints at all. Um, I put a serpentine pulley system on it. That might change. Uh, it get some squeak from the belt, and I hear that's an actual like uh, normal like problem with this type of uh, system so i might end up changing that out swapping it out put like a power pulley on it or something like that but um right now it's just running great um uh, you know uh put about 225 miles on it up till now and uh, anyway i'm going to flip the camera around here and go to the back of the car and you can see how it looks and hear it run and uh catch the rest of the clips that i have uh, uploaded after after that part you know i just want to give a little talk in here because there's no talk in the video and uh, you know it's kind of kind of weird when you see it's pieced together or whatever. So I just want to explain the explain the video there for a minute. Um, you know, really, I've been building this car for about you know a long time. I, it's kind of funny when I see it. It's not funny when I see it. Let's put it to you like that. I I drove, I drove the car for like five years. Um, real nice, you know, this and that. And then um, I decided I was going to you know go over the whole car. So I parked it. Thought it'd be two to four years, something like that. Turned out to be almost ten years. So um, here we are, um, maybe uh, on the whole like together video or something like that, I'll explain the situation, but uh, you know, I'm driving it now. Um, it's not where it is like in the, in the pictures, because like I said, um, you know, work went along and, and uh, I wasn't taking the, you know, the video as I'm sitting here narrating now. So anyway, all right, let me flip the camera around and uh, you can see where, where the car is at from here and uh, get, a, you know, get a good you know, look at the engine and the sound. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I am currently driving it. So, um, anyhow, all right. I uh, hope you liked the video and uh, like and subscribe. Check out my channel, dude. Like I said, you'll probably hear this again at the end of the video, but there's a lot of different, uh, 
uh, videos on the car, uh, on some other things that I do, you know, um, I do a lot of other stuff, uh, like I said, I want to take the time in this video to explain it, but anyhow, alright dudes, uh, let's go, hopefully enjoy the rest of the video. So right now when I start it, we're going to hear the squeak from the belt, I, I got a squeak in this belt, and uh, probably going to change the serpentine pulley system to a power pulley system. So here we are, we got the little pair of dual Weber's, 44's. We got a um, engine here, obviously, 2275. And then we have a high output alternator for uh, the audio system I'm running in there. And then I added a deep cycle battery, 009 distributor. It's a lot of power in here. You know, I have uh, four batteries with the hydraulics and the extra battery here. There's a lot of weight in this car. But uh, anyway, there's a quick, quick look with explanation of what's in here. And uh, like I said, come back and check out the rest of my videos. And uh, hopefully you like the rest of this one. Went ahead and added a external oil cooler and fan underneath the, underneath the bus. There's uh, probably four feet of uh, hose and uh, an oil filter with an oil with a with a fan that uh you know external cooler so that way there it cools the uh cools it even more and uh from here i got to uh drive it home you know i went and got a full, first full tank of gas drove it home it still it still wasn't together yet at this point um you know there were some windows that were out the interior wasn't there but uh i drove it home from here it was just a few blocks down the street and uh brought it home so here we are coming in the driveway. Uh, you can see the rag top's not in, the windows aren't in, and the interior's not in. I had a broken front driver's seat that I was using, kind of just something to sit on so I could drive it in. And, um, you know, it was looking great, running great. And from here, I just wanted to finish putting it together. So, uh, you know, got some quick photos and uh, started, uh, you know, bringing it into where I park it and, and start putting it together. Hey guys, what an awesome video, right? <laughs> All right, so glad you liked the video. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, follow my channel, and uh, check me out on Instagram and uh, Facebook. Anyway, uh, so I got a whole lot of other videos on here um, that you might want to go through uh, of you know playlists and what, whatever on my channel. So go ahead, look over the channel at my playlist and see if there's some other videos you might want to check out and uh, come back for this one for the next for the next video. Thanks a lot.